We had a great time at homecoming. Bill and Friends is brought to you in part by the makers of the following products. Ivy League Marketing, PBL Investment Group, our great new friends at Positivity Water. Go buy Positivity Water today. And our new friends at Green Top Gifts. Go to greentopgifts.com to receive 15% off. Just use promo code Bill and Friends. See you guys next year at homecoming. Holla! WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem. We're live on the campus of Clark, Atlanta. What was your favorite memory here at Clark, Atlanta? Let me tell y'all something. I wouldn't have passed Spanish if it wasn't for John Quill. You have made a tremendous difference. My voice is almost gone. WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem. It's happy homecoming. I'm with Kia, Granberry, right? Conaway. Conaway. <laughs> Con- like I call it. I call everybody. Hello, I use, maiden maiden name. I use maiden everybody name. by their maiden name. Maiden name. Conaway, she was very influential in my SGA campaign. Thank you so much for that. I think she going the feels good. I did. She, I she, did. And she will tell you to the day she died. Hello. Because I'm doing, <laughs> I'm working was, with the president good. now, but I started. Yeah. Oh, you are. I'm feeling, yeah, they, I'm going to the White House in November. Wow. Well, I work for the executive branch of the government. We'll talk about that yes. later. <laughs> Listen, Kids is doing an amazing job in Memphis. You have always been a freedom fighter, I would say, for our community. Let's talk about your trajectory and where you are now. Man, so I planted the church. It turns five actually next weekend. We've got Chur- the, well, the church at the well. Church at the well. We've got about um, 500 members, and we've this given away 200, over $250,000 to people in need. So we bought cars. We put people in houses. We bought food trucks for businesses that buildings burn down so that they can keep going. Um, and then just doing a little bit of stuff in politics. Uh, it's kind of, it's got to like find a fine line to walk as a pastor. But I was, um, I was the co-lead for Biden's Soul to the Polls program for his campaign. Absolutely. So every pastoral call he had, I led. And then I took the lead on some COVID work. Right. And so I did some of those presentations with the, the director of okay. our public health for the country. Okay. And this next month, I'm going to be working on some public work stuff. How do we divvy up the money to go to black neighborhoods for public work? You know, you, you're talking about what Jesus talked about, the working with the least of these. Yes. And it's important for us to, not to forget that. What is the importance of remembering the least of these in our communities and around our nation. I think it goes back to where we went to school. If you think about it, when we got here in 2003, we were surrounded by low-income housing. Yeah. And I think it's so beautiful. The oldest projects in the nation, yes. the university homes right and, here on campus. And I think us. it's so beautiful that HBCUs would plant themselves in black neighborhoods so that people who may not have had the same opportunities can have some sort of inspiration. Absolutely. And so we had this amalgamation of people from all walks of life. Right. So you had people who were Silver Spoon kids and people like me, right. you know, who, you know, grew up on food stamps and so I remember that as I'm growing up and as I'm becoming an adult and I go after those people who were just like me in my neighborhood absolutely let's talk about being a woman who is an amazing pastor (laughs) because you have what's the name of church without Church the at church the well. well. The church at the well. Church is, there's President Fritz walking behind us. I know I want to meet him too. But we you need to met meet him. on Zoom, but never in person. What is it like being a woman, a starting your own church, starting your church from ground up and making it happen? Man. Because a lot of them say women shouldn't be in the pulpit. You ain't supposed to be up there. But Hello? we know that's not true because Jesus is home Hello? girls. His Hello? white people were the and, women. And they misinterpreted that scripture. We can get into that later. We can talk about that later. But right. we started, I had 15, like literally God made it clear that I was supposed to do it. I was running. I had, I'm, this is my second marriage, but my first marriage was Little Rocky. I'm like, God, you want me to start a church and I don't even know if this marriage is going to last? Right, absolutely. I had 1500 You got to come back and talk to more about Hello? that on another show. I had $1,500 we started the church with. And we, oh, we, the lights came on after that first service. I was thinking 15 people. Yeah. We had 127 people there wow. at that first service, and wow. most of those people stayed. And so I don't preach hard about giving. I don't have to. We bless people's lives, and then they give more. Yeah. So from that $1,500 now, we have a budget that rivals mega churches, wow. And we've really? given away a quarter of a million dollars to people in need in that's five cool. years. Well, four years. We turned five this week, so yes. Like, the more you give, the more you see, yes. right? And yes. And that, that's, a, that's a true statement. Yes. And I can go to church with her because she's a pastor. Hello. But it is about giving. Yep. It's about it's about doing the work for the Lord. Yep. What's your favorite memory here at Clark Atlanta? My, you said my favorite, just just in, yeah, in, in, in memory or anything like that. Oh, memory. Yeah, favorite memory. Got to be Clark. Dr. Jenkins, and I miss oh, her. Oh, Dr. Jane. This Rest is in peace, Dr. Jane. This is my first homecoming without her because I didn't I didn't come to the last yeah, one. Yeah, because I haven't seen you in the last. Uh huh. Um, but I was there the year she passed, and then I actually did her graveside eulogy. I do remember that. Um, yeah. and so you know I love her, and I just. She would have been here leather down, head to toe, leather, sitting time. right here, yeah. making sure everybody saw her as they passed. And so I, I, I miss her today more than anything. Well, thank you for working with our communities. Thank you for doing yeah, what you no, were called to you. do. 
And we got to bring you back on Philip Friends yeah. on an official show, all right? I got to come to Memphis to come hang out with y'all. Hello, please. I really do. We take you to eat everywhere. Hello. Happy homecoming. I know I saw you at the gym. You might not want to go with me. I, I got to lose. I got to get. I got to stop eating here. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We got positivity and water. We're going to be positive. All hey, right. Going on. Happy homecoming. Love you, too. Right, Thank you. you. All right. This has been an amazing experience recording live from Clark Atlanta University, my alma mater, my second home. To all those people watching, thank you. Thank you for supporting Phil and Friends. Thank you to the sponsors, Positivity Water, PBL Investments, and now Green Top Gifts, and the Black Ivy League. Where would we be without the Black Ivy League? Thank you so much. You're watching Phil and Friends right here on WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem. I'll see you later. Peace.